just think about it. If you are like, you share a child with a person and you really love that person and they move on, you secretly are going to want to make their life difficult. Why a woman like this? It's not right, but it's okay. <laughs> So this video is a snippet from the brand new show, My Inked World, following the life of Tembro Broly. This is a conversation between him and his baby mother. And things got pretty heated. So I want us to check out the video and I want you to tell me what you think. The money that I give you every month that we agreed on, that I gave you every month. I'm moving, so can you help with that? I said I will think about it. No, I didn't say you'll think about it. Tazong says I've got proof on my phone. You are not my responsibility. My kids are. Oh, now I'm not your responsibility. Mobile, I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna help you. Mina, um, now I'm not Caesar because of the kids. No, I put the kids aside. I was down for you. I helped you. I imagine mm, you big proud, you get it, and then boom. Superstar him, and she's been there for me for his courtesy. Then my daughter. Obviously, she's gonna feel like entitled. I was down for you. I helped you. Don't come here with what's going on. I'm the kids. Nan, nan, nan. We are fighting now. I see, but I am also a priority to you because I made you a priority you for nine years. You are not a priority to me. My kids are a priority. But isn't Tonga going to lose? Isn't Tonga? two years. It's not true. Put that aside. Isn't Tonga going to lose one? What's going on? I don't know about that or not. What Timba gives to us, the audience, is totally different to what Timba gives to me. I do feel like the Timba that Timba is giving us, the public, is a different Timba to the Timba that he gives to me. So you think they're sleeping together? Probably not exactly right now, but they were within the relationship. Mobile does say in the show that he was staying with her. He went to go stay with her immediately after the show. Let's talk about this co-parenting issue. People that share children have a bond that absolutely not brave. But what is the etiquette? I think you're really getting yourself into something crazy when you're dating, you know, a single parent. You have to be strong because chances are those people may still have feelings for each other, even though that maybe they don't want necessarily want to be together. But a lot of the times they still have strong feelings for each other. Dating a single parent is like dating someone with an ex they cannot get rid of. And unfortunately, they have to be cool with their ex in yeah. order to make the relationship with the yeah. child work. So if you have a problem with dating someone who's friends with their ex yeah. or who's very close to people that they've slept with before, then dating a single parent is not for you. Dating a single parent, especially if that's someone who's cool with their baby mama or baby daddy, yeah. is very risky because at any point in time, these people can decide to sleep. Yes, you see how it is when he walks in there. He walks in there like the man of the house. Grabbing his kids is very comfortable. He's more comfortable than what her boyfriend would probably be in that household. But how do you feel the etiquette should be? Because you can see in this clip here, the well, drama is demanding to be his responsibility. As to respect the new relationship of the person, I don't feel like there should be favors that are being done to that extent. In respect of the new relationship, now it's like we are staring for like this person. In any situation where the baby mama can ask is because she's comfortable enough to ask you. I think she just needs to move on. It's a situation where she hasn't moved but on. But it's difficult. Like in situations like that, it's difficult to move on, especially since now the guy has made it. No, oh, what does that mean? Like, but I've met someone on my level now, so we all knew. Oh my gosh, why do y'all do that? That's rough. But then Maju, what must can happen if you want to date this guy? What, as another girl? But baby mama's like this, what must can happen? Hey, well, and that's what I'm saying. I don't blame her for being like that. At that point, even as a baby mama, you're probably like, girl, I want to some shit, okay? She's only like this because she hasn't moved on. If she moved on and she had somebody in her life, she wouldn't be asking him. She'd be asking her new partner. Just move on. It's, it's over. It's late. It's over. It's late. It's over. Just move on with your life. Get a new person to bother. Get a new person who's going to help you. Yeah. Again. Get a new person who's going to help you with household things. Your baby daddy's moved on. He's got a yeah. new partner and that partner is pregnant too. So you're not the only one. Which that makes it worse. And my takeaway from this is if you can, don't date single parents because there's a whole lot of drama that comes with it. Which is sad and unfair because what if the single parents actually genuinely want to move on? We're basically saying that single players should be out of the dating market 
and which is wrong. Yes, they should be. Then they will learn to stick together. Because once you make a child, you should learn to stick together. In any case, that would only work if both parties want to move on. But if one party still wants to try and make things work. The yeah. difficult. The most, that is true. The, the, that biggest is problem, true. the biggest problem with that is that person will always have access to you. So you will always be dealing with these things if you like mm-hmm. the new person coming into a relationship. And you're going to be miserable. You're really going to be miserable. And like... Just think about it. If you are like, you share a child with a person and you really love that person and they move on, you secretly are going to want to make their life difficult. Why a woman like this? It's not right, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's wrong. Okay, it's wrong. But yeah, it's your person, man. Well. Moral of the story is don't date single parents. Too much drama involved. We've seen it time and time again. They date them if you are strong and ready and if you're really willing to fight for your parts. Enter at own risk. That's what I'm saying. Enter if you choose to enter. And when you do, just be equipped for whatever will come with the situation. Dating a single parent is messy business. But again, it will only work if both parties move on. Like, for example, if you look yeah. at Zinfra, Zinfra's moved on. Zinfra's yeah, Zinfra's moved on. Zinfra's moved on. They you can happen. really see that they're genuinely happy in their being apart. That person, you can really trust them alone. Like, you can trust those people alone. If you're going to date a single parent, first check if the baby mama or the baby daddy have moved on. If they haven't, then you're going to be in drama. Uh-huh. If they have, then it's a clear sign that they've separated and they're ready to move on. Let us know what you guys think about this topic. Very tricky, very tricky, very tricky. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep watching. We'll see you in the next video.